back to the channel. I lied. Uh, we've got just a few acres of uh, rye grass. Uh, if you've been with the channel, we cut that for hay. We talked about getting a second cutting. Um, got behind. Uh, not said much about it, but Dad's been kind of under the weather. So we decided not to cut a second cutting and uh, drill soybeans in it. So it ain't eight, but 18 acres. I'm gonna get him going, and uh, then I'm gonna go look at some some soybean fields and uh, see if we got any replant. And uh, then we'll check back on him. I've got some other things going on, but I'm not gonna film that. So we'll bring you back when we get to the field. Got it one handed. Well, it wasn't gonna make a real thick crop. And uh felt like it should have already been cut a week or two ago. So we're doing the right thing. Let's go look at some soybeans. So here is a field that I am concerned about right out there and I believe we are going to replant uh, a lot of volunteer corn so yeah we're going to probably drop in the drill on that and uh, put some beans in the ground there but the other besides the dang corn looks good Well, he's got over three quarters of this field planted. Uh, supposed to be a lot of rain this week or some good chances of rain this week. Uh, maybe these beans will come up, but from what I've seen, I didn't show you all of it, but uh, there's probably about five or six acres that needs to be replanted two different fields play the rest up be good well we stopped to check the seeds and uh, I told them about the replant we're gonna get that tomorrow so I haven't flew the drone at all any lately so I'm gonna get in the shade put the drone up and uh we'll get back with you after that
Well, I said July the 1st, I was going to end the drive to the Vanderbilt's Children's Hospital, and I'm going to. So I did get a donation in today, and if anything does come in, I'll go ahead and donate it after the July the 1st, but uh, it's sitting in a savings account in my name, and I don't want to have to pay income tax on interest. But uh, we're close, I think, to $1,000. I don't know the exact number. And I've still got some checks to put in the mail or in the bank. And if you've not received your decal, please let me know because I kind of got behind. And I want to thank every one of you that has donated. From small to big, we've had some pretty nice donations. Well, we ended up putting two bags in, uh, two bags of soybeans to finish this up, which I think we could have made do with what we had in there, but uh, we are going to touch up. Uh, some spots and two fields so no big deal uh, this is going to be a short video so I've got a clip of something else uh, I'm going to throw in here that I recorded a week or two ago to actually go with another video and uh, I just scrapped the whole thing except for the clip I'm going to throw in here and people asked why we have a fire truck I've told why we have one in older v videos, but uh, that's been a while back, and I don't expect everybody to watch every video I do, and we're going to hit some lean times here in the next couple of weeks, because uh, I'll be doing a lot of spraying. I'll do a little video, some video on, on spraying, and some on hay, but uh, probably concentrate more on the hay and some other things that's going to be happening so uh next clip's going to be why we have a fire truck so jared davis yes sir we have a fire truck i thought everybody had one it is a i think a 1982 gmc it's got the Detroit. Look at that seat. It's got the Allison automatic. And the reason why we have this thing is uh, we used to spray with spray coops with 200 gallon tank. And uh, this thing holds roughly 900 gallons of water uh, we use these compartments to store chemicals with in and apartment down here a bunch of empty jugs need to get them out and then on the back back here up top would put our tote of roundup since we went to the big sprayer We've not used it. Uh, actually, we've robbed both batteries out of it. But I would like to shorten the wheelbase myself, take the fire truck crap off, put a flatbed and uh, use it to pull trailers and stuff like that. Dad's wanting to put a grain bed on it. So we've never made up our mind, but Yes, Jared, that's the reason why we have a fire truck. And uh, y'all go over and check Jared's channel out, Davis and Sons. Uh, they do uh, excavating and some other things. So let's get back to something else. Well, he got done. So we're just going to leave that here because some of the beans we've got to do is just right up the road tomorrow 
So I want to thank everybody for watching. God bless you. Hello to my new subscribers. Uh, leave me some comments. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.